install the OCD Euro brace. This is gonna mount to the back. It's gonna, right here we have to drill some holes. Right there, right there. You can still use your, your you can still use your back seat. You could, you know, there's gonna be no, no disturbance with the back seat. So first we're gonna pull the seats down. So the holes are gonna be, we have the drill holes right there. <clears throat> so I got this from, of course, BMP Tuning, the best. And this is what it came with. Came with a OCD Euro decal, cool ass air freshener, even though it's a Mark 6, I still put it on. Now, this, it's a little, I never, we never installed these before, right? We never did these things. We tried once. Yeah, we tried once, but we failed. So this is <clears throat> the rib nut thing. So once you drill the holes, you got to put the sleeve in. Now we didn't have the tool. We didn't have the tool for it. I thought I had to buy it, but OCD Euro or well, BMP Tuning that provided the the tool for it. Can you open this real quick? It even came with a drill bit, which is freaking great. And an Allen key to. So it's uh, to tighten, tighten the bolts. That's what we got. That's all that came with it, right? Yep. All right, so easy, perfect. Now let's, let's go. I, bro, I thought you were bleeding there for a minute. I'm like, you cut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's go. I don't even think we need a, cause this doesn't screw on, it's just, it's the sleeve. So we don't even need the, uh, the wrench to, to hold it. You remember how how it was? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I have an idea. Plus, it's not my car, so. <laughs> so yeah, you're like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we gotta use uh, a razor blade and cut where we're gonna where we're gonna drill. So this is how it's gonna look once it's installed. Um. Obviously, it's gonna be it's gonna be even. We did uh, two inches from the top right here. There's no specific spec of where, like measurements of where you gotta do it. It just says as long as it's straight, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so now we already did the measurements. All right, you could, you could just let it drop, yeah. And now we gotta drill the hole and put the the rev nut sleeve in, and that's pretty much it. Ready? This is gonna be the hot. This is gonna be the hot part. <laughs> All right, guys. So just to make things a lot more easier, we just we're gonna remove the rear seats. The, the actual seat itself is easy. You just pull it up, comes out, and then you gotta remove the trunk, trunk uh, piece that's right there. And it's gonna be a T30 right here. A T what? T30. Did I say fully remove it or just lose it? Yeah, fully remove it. So, so far we only use a T30. Yeah, then there's a tab thing, you just pull the tab up. Like, yeah. Here we go, boom. You lift, lift from this side. Like lift, yeah, and then you slide it out towards the center of the car. So that goes around, around here like this. Slide it towards the opposite side, Ugh, just like that. Ugh, all right, all right. Next up, oh, we just got the two bolt, the, the bottom left and the top right one, just so that we could see where it's set. And it looks like it's pretty, pretty even on both sides. So what you're gonna need is, I'm gonna show you, explain how to do the, um, how to crimp the, uh, the rib nut, whatever it is. Cold. You're gonna need a what is this? A Allen wrench, Allen key, um, H5 and H6. 
the H6 is going to be the crimp to crimp it, and the H5 is going to be for, for the actual bolts for for here. So, what do you think? It's not that bad, right? Yeah. The only scary thing is just fucking lining drilling, it up and drilling the holes. So now that we got it in position, since we have the top, the top and bottom one set on the, on each side, we know these two are gonna are gonna match up. All right. <clears throat> you know what? Should we do it like that? What's up, what's up? Right now we're just using this as like a tap to see where the where the, where the hole's gonna go. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Have you seen that? I was gonna drill the fucking... Alright. Now we're taking the brace off? Yeah, we're gonna take the brace off and, and just um, drill the rest of the two holes. Alright. Alright, so if you don't have the, the tool for it, OCD Euro is gonna come with, so it's this, this long bolt right here, and there's two washers. So you're gonna take this washer, put it down, and there's like one with like a little bearing. You're gonna put that down, and then you're gonna see this, this nut right here, and this lip right here is what crimps down on this. So you're gonna put it this way, like that, and then screw this on. So it goes, so this is how it's gonna look. And now you're gonna put it in. You're gonna put it in the hole, giggity. Just like that. So now it's flush. And now you're gonna grab a 14. What the fuck's the 14 wrench at? Oh, right there. So you're gonna grab a 14 wrench and have a friend like you know hold hold you know prep hold it like this and then this is when the the h6 is gonna come I would say I don't I say you do it by hand I wouldn't use an impact for this just in case so now you're gonna You got it? Yep. Okay. So now you just turn it, tighten it. And once you feel it getting tight, we just, so right now it's tight. Right now it's tight. So now I'm just gonna loosen it. Fuck, oh yeah. And that's that's how it looks. I just remember to put the wash up. Alright. So now I'm just gonna tighten it up. If the bottom was a little pain in the ass. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it loose a little bit so we could just tighten each side one by one, and then we'll show you guys how it looks with the with the uh, the seats in and the interior in. All right, guys. So this is how it looks. Cause a little dirty, but so the seats do work. Fold them down. Boom. Fold on the other one. Boom. That's how it looks. That looks pretty good, huh? You like it? Think it looks good? Yeah. Looks sweet. Now, if uh, car meets, you could pop, pop your trunk open and, uh, right? <laughs> Get some points for that. Get some scene points for it. I think it looks good, though. It's pretty good. I love it. We'll drive around. 
see how it how it feels if it makes a difference i heard it does though so th so once again you're gonna need a a t30 for to remove the back seat uh h5 h6 um what else the drill bit the drill. but it came with it yeah that came with it um, stuff over here and this is the this is the tool that it came with thank god it came with this and it came with the allen key so that's pretty much it so let's go. next we're gonna do we're gonna work on the sti again and what are we doing today uh we're doing the boost control uh solenoid and uh the cob one right the cob one cob one and what was the other thing uh one you got thing? a heat shield yeah for the turbo oh i didn't even know that yeah we'll do that to, but we'll leave the heat shield uh, we doing downpipe? until we do the downpipe okay all right, so now we're gonna do a little test drive. I both we're gonna. It's gonna be another video, but we're gonna do the uh, work on the SA now. It's gonna be a different video, but we're gonna do a test drive after that. Letting that guys know how it feels. All right, so we're just gonna do a little test drive with the brace in the back. See if it makes a difference. Let's see if you can get it from the back, cause I I, I set up the seats for you. Uh, brace for this and uh cob boost controller oh the kids are here <laughs> hi guys thanks for watching next video is going to be probably the downpipe so